Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie. I want to welcome you back. I'm going to be sharing another, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a one page scrapbook layout using uh, the Feeling Goofy tile file from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs. This is an older design. Um, excuse me, but it was fun for a layout and it's actually in the layout collection. So I'm going to just jump in here and get started get my stuff out of the way. So what I started with was, and I put these down because it's easier for me to do it that way. I just started with a 12 by 12 black piece, uh, 11 and 3 fourths by 11 and 3 fourths inch white, 11 and a half by 11 and a half inch green. The green is from Doodlebug Designs. And then I have my black wavy border from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs. This yellow paper is from Echo Park. And I have two of these cut. I just reversed them, okay? So just flipped them when I cut them. And they're 11 and a half inches long and about, oh, I wanna say three and a quarter inches high. Whatever design studio with the height that, I think that's how I did it. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these on. I was going to use the white on white and I thought it's just a little too stark so I just I wanted a little bit more muted so that's what I used. Okay my ATG gun wasn't going Sorry for its squeak. I uh, saw a video on how to fix it, but yeah. And this matches up at the bottom. Hopefully, if I can get it straight. Whoops. And I don't remember how they're going, so I'm just going to lay them here for now. I know, I think it's this way, but again, I can't remember. I'm going to actually move this, and there's going to be a bit of a glare. I apologize. See my notes on some Christmas cards I want to get finished up. Excuse me, bring this back in, and they're just a hair shy of 11 and a half inches. I'm going with them. I didn't cut the green down. I just, I think they're going to just be okay, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, I'm going to give you the sizes of my pieces, because I did resize this, so yeah, I wanted a four by four photo to fit in here. So this is about six and, let's just say six and a half inches wide and six and three, four, three fourths inch high. What I did when I put the yellow piece on the back, I left it open. So you can either just put a picture on top or slip a picture in the back. This is going to go up here. Okay, feeling goofy. Feeling, these are two separate words. So this is four inches long and about, oh, let's see. One and seven eighths inches high. That's popped up. That's just a guess. This is about three and three fourths, and it's about two and a fourth inches long. My little tag is about two and a fourth wide by 
I'm gonna say three and a half inches long. Design space will, I just had design space to it, so I'm just gonna give you the easiest one to measure. So about two and a fourth inches on the one of them. This one is about two and a fourth. The big one from the tip of the arrow to the other side is about three and three fourths. And I shared this on my Facebook page. Um, he is a whopping eight inches high and he's about three and a half inches wide from hand to hand when I got him on. But I wanted him taller. He's going down here. My tag I'm just putting up here. Uh, feeling is going here. I'm going to put my borders on first and I am going to have the borders the way I put them so it's just I don't want this to be too terribly long so I have one more video to try to get done today if I'm lucky uh, just then I'm kind of caught up so I just won't put them up all immediately And even though the greens don't match exactly and neither do the yellows, they're close enough for me that they work. Well, I think I've said before, I'm just... using up some papers that I've had for quite a while and yeah, just trying to kind of Get back into my scrapbooking so okay so the border I'm just gonna put I'm gonna leave the top open too I'm not gonna put anything here I'm just gonna put along the three sides then and a little bit on the back of the yellow just eyeball this to get it straight. Yeah, so you can just pop the picture in however and then let's do the feeling goofy parts. This, oh, I'm just putting glue on my piece here. This is one of those that if you watched my other video, I think it was the picnic one, I'm not sure, you would see that I um, had commented I was making a little bit bigger pieces. This is one of the larger ones. I'm okay with putting just one photo on a scrapbook layout. Um, maybe that's weird, but it works for me. I gotta make sure. He's gonna be popped up too, by the way. I want him over a little bit so I can put my tag up here in the corner. So I'm just kind of seeing where I want word goofy to go and so he's gonna go over some
Okay. Helps if I lay everything out, then I know where I want stuff. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's uh, not been too bad here. Now this is kind of how the, um, the file, when I got it, you know, when you see it on the internet to purchase it, this is how kind of how it's laid out. And that's why I'm going with this. You can certainly do it any way you wish. Um, I'm just choosing to do it this way. Keep things simple and yet it works. Okay, now I'm going to put the yellow tag down. And if I keep him where I've got him, then I know where to put this. And I'm doing more, hmm, I'm going to say simple layouts, just because they're working for me. Um, just to kind of get back into it. And honestly, I like these. I, I don't know. I don't need real elaborate layouts. I, they're fun, but I like these too. I don't want to take away from the photos, so that's kind of why I'm going more toward, um, I'll say simple, or uh, that's not really what I mean. Um, less congested? I don't know. I added the buttons. They are from Buttons Galore and more, or Buttons Galore, I'm not sure. That wasn't part of the file, I just wanted to add a little bit to it. So, I'm gonna bring back in my other mat so I can kind of see once where I'm at. That's for another layout, sorry. Okay, so there it is. That is my finished layout, very quick and easy, but I really like it. And I hope you have a great day. If you enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining me.